Hey there, it's Rich with Rich Bound Photography, and I got a request to do a real short tutorial on how the heck do you change a light bulb when you don't have a light bulb. So I'm going to show you how to change a light bulb in Photoshop. It's real quick, really easy, and there's many ways to do this, but I just chose to do it this way. I'm shooting down in Mexico in a hotel, and trying to get a light bulb fixed or replaced is like pulling teeth. And uh, everything is manana tomorrow, so I needed it right now. So here's what I do. I bring in the photo into Photoshop. I'm going to now go and I'm going to enlarge this so I can work on it. Bring it down here. Okay, so what I wanna do is pick the pen tool here and I'm just going to use the pen tool. And I really recommend all of you learn how to use the pen tool. It's a super, super useful tool for Photoshop and real estate because we're always selecting things. And there are many ways to do this, and I know there are better ways than I'm doing it to do this, but as always, uh, this is what works for me, and, and sometimes it's easier for me just to do what I know. Okay, now we've clicked all of these spots we want, and I'm gonna right click and I'm going to make a selection. Here we go. Two, I'm going to feather radius this two pixels. And I click OK. And now we have marching ants. So what we want to do is we're going to select this and copy it, paste it, and move it. We're going to move it over to here. So what we want to do is first I want to do Command-C for copy. There we go. Or you could go up here and edit and just do copy. And uh, the next one I'm going to do is Command-V for paste down here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is Command-T to transform this. And I'm going to move it here. And that's all I'm going to do. But I'm going to make this a little better. Let's just turn the opacity down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my... In transform I'll out go to edit transform and then warp and basically I'm just going to warp this back into shape here here we go here we go good 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 this looks pretty good actually okay bring back the opacity to a hundred percent okay Click OK up there with a little check, and there you have it. And I'll be honest with you, I will be hard pressed for anybody to say that isn't that isn't the same globe that matches that one. Anyway, so you get the idea. Now let's go to. I'm not going to save this. Let's do one more of this. These bathrooms, man. Everyone was missing a light bulb, and this is a really nice hotel. So I just uh, you know it was easier for me to just do this. So again, we're just going to go select it with the pen tool real quick. And you can spend as little or as much time as you need to do this. And uh, I'm just doing it really quick for you guys. Okay. So, and I, I'd be honest with you, we're all going to come up with this situation. Okay. So I've selected it here. Well, actually, I haven't selected it. I put the pen tool. And now I want to go right click, make a selection, two pixel. Uh, radius for uh, feathering. There you go. I'm going to do... Oh, you know what? <laughs> Silly me. I did the wrong one. I did the, the, the non-light bulb. I need to do the light one. Oh, gosh. It's been a long day for me. Starting to get busy. How about you? I, I'm looking forward to a busy 2017. Some neat stuff. Okay. Again, Pick that, okay, right click, make selection, two pixel radius, okay. Command copy, command C, copy. Now command V for paste, okay, and command T for transform. And I'm just gonna keep it, I'm not gonna go to my, um, to do the um, warp tool, I'm just gonna do it with my regular transform tool because it's so, close to perfect don't even need it so anyway here we go okay there's another one okay not perfect but i could do a lot better actually i should make it a little bit better hold on a second i'll do transform again 
bring it out just a little bit here bring it out just a little bit there and then okay great I'm not going to do the third one because you get the idea so I'm going to close this one out and I'm going to go to the last one I'm going to have oh you know what I've already done this one so let me just back it off hold on a second I'm going to re bring this into because I wanted to show you this one okay let's go into Lightroom and let me go into here there we go wait where is it darn 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 okay I'm gonna go and I'm gonna edit this command E add a Lightroom and I'm just gonna bring it back into Photoshop I've actually done this tutorial twice my mouse died on one of these and I had to redo the whole thing because I was too lazy to edit it so we're gonna go command plus to bring this here and we're gonna take this one make it a little larger and I'm gonna just go I'm um, still got my pen tool really real quick okay and again I could be doing this a lot better and I know you'll spend more time doing it but this is just to get the tools to show you how it's done and as always you can spend as little or as much time doing this as you find profitable or enjoyable and a lot of you should be doing really good jobs with this anyway if it's new if it's a new technique for you okay new technique for you you want to get good at it spend the time to do it okay I've selected it but I've now got to do make the selection here we go okay now I'm gonna do copy and now I'm going to do command V for paste okay now I'm gonna go transform okay and I'm going to make this a little smaller so I can see it where I'm going with it and I'm just gonna drag it over here okay and what I want to do for this one I do want to go and use the um, go up into edit transform and warp tool because that will be better for this it's kind of oblonged as you can see so I'm just gonna enlarge this so I can work on it and I'm gonna bring the opacity down so I can see underneath it just a little bit there we go okay so let's just go you know what hold on a second what I want to do I'm just gonna go and do regular transform and get it to about the right size a little easier and then I'm gonna to go to the warp tool to finalize it okay so let's go here let's go here okay now let's go into the let's have this live here and I'm gonna go into edit and do my transform and then warp so I'm just gonna do the final so bring it in there and I just recommend playing with these tools these are really really helpful and effective for you to do everybody should know how to do uh, various uh, copying various transform tools there we go okay let me just bring this down a little bit right there bring this out slightly here and just down a little bit here and I like it so I'm gonna bring up the opacity back again and there we go and one little trick too you can do if I wanted to make it a little bit darker all I have to do is take down the fill there we go okay perfect and that to me looks pretty darn good so that, you, there you go. It's a quick and an easy way to replace a light bulb. And I know you can find zillions of things to replace. You could do salt shakers. You could do chairs. You could do all kinds of things. So anyway, this is Rich Bound Photography saying signing off, and I'll talk to you all later.